Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome back to our Python and Tkinter series. In this video, we're going to go ahead and understand two concepts. One, how to add buttons and functions to our actual Tkinter widget. And two, how the pack function actually works, how we can place objects in different locations of our window. Let's get started. First thing first, guys, we're going to go ahead and add a button onto our view. Just like we initialized a label over here with the label object and passing in parameters, we're going to do the exact same thing with a button. Now a button has very, very similar parameters. It still has the text, it still has the window. So let's go ahead and initialize the button. I'm gonna go ahead and make the variable B is equal to button and pass in root comma the text. I'm gonna make my text with a button click me. So basically what I'm doing is I'm gonna add a button to my view with the text click me. Very, very straightforward. I'm gonna go ahead and say B.pack and this will go ahead and add the button to my view. So control shift R guys, let's open it up. Here is my window, hello world, click me. Fantastic. So right now, if you click on this button, guys, nothing happens. It's just a very, very straightforward button. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna give our button a command. When the user clicks on this button, we want something to happen. There should be some function, some action that gets triggered. So in this scenario, I'm gonna go ahead and create a function that just prints out hello world. So over here, def button function, all right button function over here, uh, very, very straightforward, um, very simple uh, function. And then in this scenario, I'm gonna go ahead and say print out hello world, okay? And now over here, B is equal to button, root comma text is equal to click me. And then I'm also gonna pass in our function. So command is the attribute of buttons that takes in what should happen when a button is pressed. I'm gonna pass in over here, button function. Make sure you don't add the brackets, guys. It's just button function, the text of your function. Go ahead and save this, run it, and let's open up the new window. Hello world, click me. Now, if I click on it, guys, if you look at the bottom of my screen in the console, you're gonna see hello world pop up multiple times. All right, awesome. So that is the very simple gist of buttons. Again, buttons are created with the button object. You pass in your window, you pass in the text for your button, and then you can specify the command. What should happen when the button is pressed? Now there's a lot of different attributes buttons has as well. You can change the color, the background color, the size of the button, stuff like that. But just for understanding how a simple button is added to your window, this is the code necessary. After this guys, we're gonna go and understand how the pack method works. Right now, whenever we add an object to our view, you can see that it's put one underneath the other. If I go ahead and copy this code, command C, command V, call this B2, B2.pack, and go ahead and run this, you're gonna notice that, hey, when I add another button, it comes underneath. Hello world, click me, click me. What can I do to ensure that these buttons are placed side by side? What can I do to ensure that hello world and click me are placed side by side and maybe click me is at the bottom? So depending on your scenario, guys, you can go ahead and play around with the positioning of every object. Right now we're placing it in the root view and the way that works is there's basically four different positions. You have top, bottom, left and right. So you can go ahead and specify how your object should be placed. If I go ahead and say l.pack side is equal to left, b.pack side is equal to left, and b2.pack side is equal to left, you're going to see that all three buttons are placed side by side by side. Control shift R, run this, and we see over here, hello world, click me, click me. So that's what left does, okay? It places all three of them, basically pushing them to the left. If I make my B2 side equals right, what's gonna happen is my last button is gonna be placed all the way to the right. So I'm gonna have hello world click me and my second button over here is gonna be all the way to the right. The reason why you have this gap guys is because our window is 300 pixels by 300 pixels. That's why this gap exists. You have two objects that are pushed all the way to the left, one object pushed all the way to the right. Other than left and right guys, you also have top and bottom. I can make my button two bottom, I can make my button one, top and then go ahead and save this and run it and we're going to see my label to my left my first button to the top and my second button at the bottom very very cool guys that is how this side attribute works for pack by doing that guys you can go ahead and modify your layout put objects to the left to the right to the top to the bottom and actually get the layout how you want it to look anyways that's it for this lecture guys we covered buttons and we covered the side attribute for the pack method that's pretty much it don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys, and I will see you in the next video.